All right, and here's today's project. We're gonna try getting this thing running today. Starting off with pulling this battery out. Not playing around. And once again, we're here joined by Fix It Trucking. He's here, he's here helping us out. And he broke a bolt off. Already. Already. After a great start, but we got one battery terminal off. We just gotta get this one off. And we gotta see if this motor will actually spin because it it is most likely seized. So it, it might not even turn, but we're gonna certainly try. So let's see what happens today. Okay, you wanna pull it out? Yep. Good old heavy six volt battery. Do we see a key in here? Not yet. Currently we're looking for the key because we... I found a tag for the key, but I can't find the key. So we're, hope, we're really hoping it's in here. Because if it isn't, then that's not good. Oh, wait there. Let me see. What does it say on it? It says, I'll go. Okay, it fits. It turns. All right. How's the starter working? Oh, it's this. Is it this? Yeah, it's this. All right, so I'll plug up the jumper and we'll see what happens. That's nice. We got the key, which means we're we're one step closer to getting this thing running. Now we just we're gonna try right now with the a jump box I have. It is 12 volt, so we gotta be careful not to burn any wires. So we just gotta be very careful. But it's gonna help us know if the starter actually works. Uh, you gotta go black to red, which I would. No, assume. the positive was connected to the positive on the battery. Oh, it is. It was. Uh, you wanna just try it? I'm gonna tap it. Be very careful. Careful. Hey, I'm guys. I don't know, try something like the lights or something. I don't know if this has lights, Ben. You're right, it doesn't have lights. What if I go the other way? Yeah, you can. Go ahead, just be careful. Wait. Okay, now try. There must be a disconnection somewhere. Okay, no such luck there. That didn't work. Can't figure out why. No clicking, then no gauges moving. Hopefully there's no break in the line, but could always be at the switch here. Broken, messed up switch or something. Now, if I remember right, does it come through the... Yeah, it comes to this thing first. Yeah. And then it goes up to the key switch, and then when you turn it on, it flips the magnet on, and then it goes out the other side. So we can always test... I got my wire testers. We can test if there's power coming to the... What's it called? I just Solenoid. hope that there's nothing wrong with these cables. Yeah. So he's gonna hook it back up. What do we want to do? Red to red, and then we'll just do it's black to, to black. Red, yeah. Sometimes they do that though. Like the red will go to the ground. Like they'll make the red ground, and they'll make the black positive. Even though you know, just to make it, you always put red to red and black to black. Yeah. Okay. First test. Just be careful because I don't know if it arcs or not. Because you're going. Hmm. We might just have a bad connection. Or there's power here, and you're not touching. Okay, yeah. So there's okay. power going through. Oh, that's good. There's power. Now just careful with the wire because it looks tender. The one you're on. That's good. That's a first good start. Now we can um check power here. Yeah, that should be, that should be no power there. Check the um bolt. Yeah. Okay, nothing there. I'm gonna try turning the key on. Anything? So power here. No, there's nothing here. Huh. Try pushing the starter. I don't even know what the starter is. This little button. No. Alright, so we're having a problem activating the starter. So we're activating the switch, the solenoid. solenoid. The the big black button you were pushing. Oh. Press it again? Actually I pull it. You push it in and you pull it out. I don't know what that is. It's uh, it's doing something. Is that a decompression thing? I doubt it. He 
it goes to the front area. Weird, I wouldn't bother touching it too much then. I don't think that's it. The, what I thought was might have been it, Ben, is the starter looking button right look, under the look, key. Look here. Push the button in, pull it out. Huh. The thing I thought it might be is that right there, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, ben opened up the panel right here, so now we can get into here and see more of the electrical. See if we have any problems up here. This is the hydraulic tank? Probably. Yes. Where's the fuel tank on this? That's a great question. I know the tank is on that, but I don't know where the tank is on this. Is that it? Oh, we actually got a bit of hydraulic oil. Hydraulic. Mm. Not water. That's good. That means it can sort of lift stuff. It's way below the low line, but this wire is missing. And that's the starter right below it, the key, I mean. Key, and then starter's down there. Oh, let's test all three of them, I guess. Nothing. That's oh. power. Is the switch on? Shouldn't be on. Okay, ready? Put it on, wait, what's the one that has power? A uh, black one going into a gauge, I think. Okay, so it goes across the gauges, okay. Um, none of the other two have power? No, they don't. Okay. Do any of them have power? Uh, this one doesn't now. Oh? Okay, how about now? Eli, look at this. What? It's like falling apart. Okay, just some notification I just found out about. Um, if we do want to get this thing going, my grandpa will pull it with a payloader, so that'll help us. But right now, we do still have to work on getting the, um, what's it called? Okay. The starter working, but more importantly, making sure we got power going to all of the spark plugs, which is a problem because you have to spin the motor to get spark. Yes. Yeah, we right now, I, at least I do, I think it's the solenoid problem. We're not, we got power going basically everywhere else, but I think it's a solenoid problem, but is the solenoid only part of the starter? I think so. I don't think it has anything to do with the... Um, the solenoid gets power from the ignition switch. Solenoid does have some part in it because it goes up to the coil and then it goes to the distributor. So we do need that for spark. Um, we can skip the starter and put direct power right into the... Um, what's it called? The coil. That's an option. I can't see. I got light. You want a light? Yes. Yeah, this one only gets power when I push it in. Want to hold it in? This is the only way to start it. You got to push the starter in. I mean, the switch in. Mm -hmm. Just can't a even, bunch of testing. Can't even tell if I'm hitting like wire or something. Green wire, Ben. Look for a green wire up there. Yeah, I got a green wire, but I can't really see where it goes. Can I uh, have the testers, please? What does this wire go to? It's annoying me. See this thing here? Uh, it connects to the switch, the button. But it's not connected to anything. That would go right to. There's a missing connection right on. There's the no. There's no power going to the start. Connect it right to the. Wait a second. I actually have to know. Uh. Oh Ben, I have just the thing. <laughs> I got bad news, Eli. I broke the wire. Uh, it's slightly worse. Oh, what did you know? The entire cap for the ignition switch came apart. Did drop any pieces out? Now come over here and look at it. Okay. Try now. <laughs> well, we got some. This is the most hack job we've ever done. All right. Well, I don't know. Barge cup kit be rough too. Nope. Oh, yeah, I pulled the power there for a second. It might, it might just be the power. No, this was in. the power coming in. Okay. The other ones don't have power. Try turning it. Oh, down. that one has power. That one, maybe. Well, um, if I had vice grips, we can. Vice grips can be the switch. We just pull it all in together. All right, a little while later, and 
Ben got the wiring all set up. We got this sketchy vice grip set up going, but it, it works. It does work. We got full power going to everywhere. And once you press the button, so I can't do it too much because it's going to wear out the starter, but... Oh, that didn't happen before. It turned over a tiny bit. Okay. Um... The motor's not seized. It's just low, too low of amps. I mean, yeah. Okay, we just gotta get six volt. Yeah, it turned over a tiny bit. That's good, that's good, that's progress. All right, we got, we're back and we got a battery. So now we just gotta put it in. All right, red terminal and black, to, yeah. Yeah, there's no bolt there. Of course, the one that we need the bolt, it's not tight. All right, give it a little click. Just click. I think it might be dead. Certainly is acting like it. All right, a little while later and, and we have a, we think a charged battery. Okay, Ben, you wanna give it a check? Yep. Ready? Yeah. I start do one full rotation. Stop, 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 stop. Smoky? Yep. Why is it smoking? Like it's that making doesn't make any sense. Like it's it's pulling so many amps out of it because I think the um it, maybe it's not, maybe it is somewhat like seized or something, I don't know. Or tight? I don't know. It, it acts wait, like you it, crazy or something? It acts like the starter's working really hard. Hot? No. Oh, not at all. So what was smoking? Is it just like oil on the cabling or something? That cable's not even hot. <laughs> oh, stop it. Behind you. Oh. Negative ground, positive ground. The old battery, it was like how we went. Yeah, we right put it now. on the same way as the old battery. Where is it? Okay, see if this is going to the ground. Oh, no, red one is the ground. Okay. Red is ground? Yeah. That's right. A hole of clutch it. Oh. So you ain't turning over the transmission. Yeah, what? Hold the punch. Yeah, I can hold the clutch. Is there any spark? Did you check? No, we haven't checked spark yet. Oh. So okay. I can take. That one's hard to get. Oh, that's rusty. There went PB blaster. Oh yeah, it definitely needs to be cleaned. I got a file. You do? Yeah. Got that distributor all cleaned up, Ben? I think so. So we can try turning it over and... Does any of this need to be cleaned or... Oh, good. That will need to be cleaned. Okay. And then we'll first check for spark here. And then next be either take out a spark plug or throw some starting fluid in the carburetor to see if we can... If we're getting spark. Put the negative positive, positive one on first. And then do that whenever you're ready. Ben pulled off. Stop. What? I'm gonna leave it. Probably pull it off anyway. Just pull it on. Okay, I guess it was ready. It was fine. All right, he's just gonna clean those points a little more, and we'll get back to you once he's done doing that. And 
We can whirl again. Extremely sketchy. Okay, let's go again. Ready? Yeah. We got a spark. It's whirling really good now. So do we want to pull off the a spark plug and check the spark that way, or do yeah, you want to? We, we can check. I'll pull a spark plug out, and then I'll put this distributor back together, and then we'll take a spark plug out, and we'll see how that goes, and hopefully we won't need new spark plugs. Yeah, that'd be nice. We're going to have to check if we actually get um, fuel, if this thing actually fires at all. Yep, just a little starting fluid, and that should get it. If it's gonna go, it's gonna it's gonna go with starting fluid. Yeah. If we don't have spark, it won't fire. But if we have spark, it'll fire as long as the carburetor jets aren't clogged. If they are clogged, we're, we're just gonna pull it off. We're gonna clean it out. Take half an hour to clean it out. Real good, real thorough clean out, and that should work perfectly. See you when we that when that time comes though. Okay, we got starting fluid. Battery's hooked up. We're gonna test it out now because we couldn't get the spark plug off. Yep, ready. You space them in yet? No, not yet. I'll tell you when. Okay. Go. Okay, we'll try it with a jump pack. Seems like it's nothing. Well, we tried for a little bit more, but couldn't get it going. Um, still smoking the wire, so we're going to call about it for today. All right, back here again for day two. Today's jobs are just mainly gonna be clean out the fuel tank and pump some fuel through it to make sure we're getting good clean gas through it. So we're gonna start by draining a certain part of the tank because there's a bit of fuel left in it and some rust, which is just this thing. So I think I'm gonna just try getting the liquid out first. But let's start this day. All right, so while Eli works on the gas tank over there, I'm gonna be working on cleaning the carburetor because I got nothing better to do right now. So I'm gonna go over here, find a place for this stand to fit. All right, got some half inch wrenches. Now I'm gonna try to take out this carburetor. However, I'm gonna try to take off the throttle and choke cable ahead of time. Let's try a 7 16th for the throttle. Yep. All right, I'll try taking off the carburetor itself off first. I can't get my this little speaker. One bolt off. Both of the bolts are off. Let's see if I can take off the carburetor. Huh. Come on. Yes. Got it. No. I got like 99% of the whole gasket to come off. It broke? Uh, only the top of it a little bit. The whole, it, like the whole thing still has the same footprint. All right. I oh, I see. I think I know what you see. Mean. It's right here. Some of it peeled. Oh off. no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. So there's still some left there. All right. Let's see if I can take this throttle cable off. No, don't drop it. Uh, is it spinning? Yes, I'm right spinning. Here. I use a smaller one. You get a 3 8 wrench. Right? Time for me to take this bolt off. 7 16 Looks smaller than 7 16 though. Oh, I lied. It's the first try. This thing off but it immediately clogged i'll see what i can do from the top let's see if we can get something to happen from the top i'll i'll go up top and you watch it well trying to push it down didn't really work 
I can't get my this little screwdriver up in there. I guess the next best thing to do is put the screw back in and get the metal out of whatever I can. I'll, maybe I'll let this drain out some more because it's still draining. Uh, but try to get the metal out anyway. Not the metal ever float back up, but if it is metal. All right, got a 3 8 wrench. Does it fit? Yes, it does seem to fit. All right. Got that off. Choke. Different story. Think of the choke? Isn't there a screw hole on the other side? No, it's a wait. Oh, it's a clip type one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Nope, it uses a very small nut on the top. Too big. What's smaller than five sixteenths? Three sixteenths? I might like that. All right, got a quarter inch. Yeah, wait, no, yes, maybe. Yes, quarter inch. Be careful not to break it. Uh, and the gasket came off. Wrench. Got it. The whole thing is apart now. Alright, this is filthy. Alright, now let's take it apart and clean it. Alright, here's what we're working with in here. Got a magnet, I'm gonna try to get the metal out. If there is any. Yep, there is a little, little bit. Uh, there shouldn't be metal anywhere else. I really don't think there is. Just gonna go around the bottom, just kinda looking for stuff. That little other inlet hole. Yeah, nothing else in there. It's really clean tape. Oh, well, I guess that hole's draining it out. The other outlet hole seems okay. Nope, I think I got everything. Everything I want to get out. Just gotta let this drain for a little longer, and then we'll put a little bit of gas in it and try to get the pump to pump some stuff through. Well, I think I drained out all I can, so I'm just gonna put this back in. You see a little bit of stuff came out. I got, oh, 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 maybe one drop more coming out, but not much more, so I'm just gonna cover this. And the rest I can't do too much about, but it's all stuck down there. It's not gonna float back up, so that's good. So, once I'm done with this, I'll put some fuel in. Just a little bit of gas. That should be enough for now. Let's check cleanliness. Ridiculously clear. Now time to go set this pump up so we can start pumping it out. All right, here's the thing we gotta get working. So I'm just gonna take a 12 volt jump pack to pump it. I also gotta take off uh, this bolt off the end. Try as a bone, quite obviously. So now I just gotta get the jump pack on it. Just gonna put that on that. nothing from it. Try reversing it. Do the black on the do the red on the black and the black on the red. I can try that. Nope. Nothing. Alright, uh, I guess that won't work. I'll have to try it again with a six volt battery when we got the saw uh, the electrical all set up right. Uh, ah that's all right. I guess we'll just have to wait. So now, 
We're gonna take this thing apart and we're gonna clean it. Quite surprisingly clean. And the pen doesn't seem to have a problem. Well, I'm going to start spraying it and cleaning it. Let's see how this is. together Gotta figure out that throttle problem now. All right, now I'm gonna take this thing off so I can check this ground and wash it down a little bit so we get a better ground. Right. Doesn't seem like it'd be a bad ground, but I still wanna clean it up a bit. All right, got some sandpaper and we're gonna sand this down a little bit. That, that's pretty pretty good we had a somewhat bad ground now we have a perfect ground I doubt that's the full problem of why we had to struggle whirling it yesterday but I hope that this helps if not it's still worth it in my opinion to have done it okay there we go all nice and tight there we go all done with that, now I got perfect ground. All right, we got some new parts. We got a new coil, got a new fitting for the fuel line. We got a new ignition switch and uh, a hose that we can get a auxiliary gas tank. Now we just gotta connect all these terminals together and we can get this thing going. Okay, black end, uh, black open end one's main power so that goes to the battery one. Or I can clamp that, I don't know. That went flying. <laughs> You're lucky it went straight for the magnet. 
wiggle that around. It's always better when you got two people. Alright, that's good enough because we gotta get the other one on. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's take leave it out for now. And we'll, we can test it right there before we put it in. Oh, just to make sure we got everything right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work pretty good. We got all the wires hooked up. Um, what's next? I guess we go get the battery and we get the spare tank. Temporary tank. Right, got the battery. Now time to put it in. Before I do all this, I'm going to clean out these terminals just so we have a really good connection. I don't doubt that they're really good, but I want it better. Okay, now we just go black to there. Try to pull it on mostly. Okay, no pull on power, that's good. No pulling. So that means, it means there's no power getting pulled, forcing it to go somewhere. That's good. Put that for now. Okay, I'll test that a little bit once Ben gets back. In the meantime, let's figure out this fuel situation on the other side. All right, back on the other side now. So just gotta hook this fuel line up. It will go to this, so we're just gonna take this, plug it in here. Ugh. Give a good push. A little more, and there. All right, that's good. Now this fuel line is gonna come up here, if you can see it. Comes right up here, and we're just gonna hook up this fuel tank right up to it, and that'll work pretty fine. Put this thing up here. Plug this in, and voila. It's gotta be way up here just to have gravity fade. Grab, wow, that was weird. That's like almost an accident. All right, and that's where that's gonna go. I mean, it's a pretty good spot. This thing's even got a fuel on off thing, which is nice. Just gotta hope it holds, cause we have reports that it might leak. Now put the coil in and get it all dirty. Huh. What's up? I do have some bad news. What? The coil's small. <laughs> so we gotta wrap it in something. All right. I think we're just about ready to test the spark. How are you gonna test spark? Just gonna hold that right there. Got it. Ready? Yeah. I think we need more power. Okay, go, go, Ready? Yeah. I didn't get anything. Power here. Uh, turn over once. Okay, there is power going through there. We might need to clean the points or something. Try it now. Again. All right, stop. All right, try it again. With a battery pack on it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right. That spark? The coil is producing spark. Ready? Yep. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, that's sparking there. Ready? Yeah. Hey, stop. I got one spark plug to spark. So we'll just try it with that then. Jeez. Got a cramp? No, I hit my leg on the way out. With what? All right, we got this thing whirling and we got one spark plug sparking. So we're gonna go with that and we're going to put gas in it and try to get this thing going. I think 50 50. Yeah. I 
Okay, ready? All right. Keys on, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey, that's something! But don't spray anything then. Actually, spray some in because I want to get help. Yeah. Got this, guys. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna pull the choke out. Ready? Yeah, pull it out. Smoking? I'm gonna give it a big, no, not at all. I'm giving it a bit of gas. Huh? It sprayed stuff everywhere. Go. Nope, he jumped up, I guess. Well, a little while later, we got uh, we had some problems, so we uh, tried getting the spark to go again. Uh, he messed with the distributor a little bit, filed down some stuff, and then it seems like we're going. We're uh, getting good spark to two of the spark plugs at least, so we didn't check the other two. Here's the battery. And we also got a battery charger on it now because the jump puck died and yeah. Alright, let's try it again. Starting fluid. Give it one click of gas, throttle. Are you ready? Yep. Can we spray it? Yep. Go. <laughs> That was running. It was idling and I moved it. That's a lot better. I think it'll start right up, Ben. It, though it didn't want the throttle. Don't give it choke. <laughs> no, don't give it throttle. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving it throttle. So that it off. worked exactly like Grandpa said. Pull the choke out, push it back in, and it'll start right up. <laughs> Can, but there's no reason to take it off. That's true. That's the clutch. This is wild. You can try it, but I don't think it's gonna go. No, Dad, my bad. Touched it. Start on this.
Hear the compression it's pretty heavy oh, yeah, compression yeah, it's got good compression well that's about it for today you got this thing going that's nice running driving steering a little bit but we should be able to get that going once you use it a little more just gotta fix the fuel filter and that's about it fuel pump nice well see you in the next video